This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Well, it's starting to happen. The U.S. is starting to develop domestic sources for the raw materials needed to make batteries for electric vehicles. We've already reported on lithium mines opening in California and North Carolina, and a manganese mine opening in Arizona, and now there's a cobalt mine that's going to open in Idaho. A mining company called Gervoy Global Limited is starting to mine cobalt there starting today. It plans to mine 2,000 tons of cobalt a year, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the 127,000 tons that will be mined globally. But it's a start. The next step is for the U.S. to start refining and processing these materials domestically. Most of these materials are now processed outside of the U.S., mainly in China. Somewhat along those lines, the U.S. Department of Defense selected GM Defense to develop scalable battery packs for different types of tactical vehicles. The Defense Innovation Unit will analyze and test the battery packs with different chemistries and cell forms. GM Defense will use GM's own Ultium battery platform since one of the goals of the Defense Department is to use commercial off-the-shelf technology for military applications. Well, it might be a few years late, but Tesla Semi is finally getting to the market. Pepsi is going to take deliveries starting December 1st and will use them to deliver snack food and beverages. Elon Musk has said that the Semi will have a range of 500 miles. Reuters reports the Semi will cost $180,000, but it also qualifies for a $40,000 subsidy that is part of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Well, here's something that's not going to shock you at all. New car prices are still going up. According to Kelly Blue Book, the average transaction price, or ATP, in August was over $48,300. That's a half percent increase from July and nearly 11 percent higher than last August. We all know that supply constraints, rising material costs, and other market factors are playing a major role in the increases, but there's another factor at play as well. Luxury buyers make up a bigger slice of the market today, 17.5%, a near record. And more EVs are driving up prices with ATPs of $66,000. New car buyers have now paid an average of at least $1,000 over MSRP in every month this year. Honda revealed the styling of the prologue an electric SUV it's co-developing with General Motors and rides on GM's Ultium platform, one thing that strikes us is that the Prologue's design doesn't scream, I'm an electric. It has a much more traditional styling theme. Honda says it's about 8 inches longer and 5 inches wider than the all-new CRV, and will come with 21-inch wheels, which might be a first for the brand. The interior of the Prologue also looks like most modern vehicles. It features two floating display screens mounted high on the dash. The one for the driver is an 11-inch screen, while the one for infotainment is slightly larger at 11.3 inches. According to research by Honda, hybrid customers are some of the first to make the transition to a full battery electric vehicle. So it's going to increase the mix of CRV hybrids to 50% and offer customers in ZEV states a shorter two-year lease as a way to make it easier to get into a prologue when it goes on sale in 2024. After the prologue, Honda plans to launch EVs, which will be built in North America and based on its own dedicated architecture, starting in 2026. Daimler just celebrated its third year of working with Torque, 
a company that's trying to commercialize level four autonomous technology for big trucks. They've shown that their trucks can operate on highways, surface streets, ramps, and even turns at controlled intersections. Now they're shifting their focus to customer integration, and they've signed a deal with the U.S. logistics provider Schneider, which will provide loads for the trucks to carry. They'll be using an updated set of sensors and computers, and Torque hopes to have its system ready before 2030. At Schaeffler, we pioneer motion. Electrifying mobility. Manufacturing smarter. Reducing CO2 emissions. Making energy production clean. Scheffler pioneers motion to advance how the world moves. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Volkswagen of America is losing one of its top executives, Johan Denison, who will be retiring next week. VW has not named a replacement. Denison, who's 62 years old, was chief operating officer for VWOA. Earlier in his career, he ran the U.S. operations for Audi and then Infiniti and then Cadillac. The South African native tells Wards that he and his wife are going to settle down in Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is the same community where VW has its U.S. assembly plant. Even though General Motors plans to go all electric by 2035, that does not include the company's heavy-duty trucks, at least not for now. GMC is adding the Denali trim to its HD trucks for the first time, and it's playing by today's popular playbook. Make them big, make them brawny, load them up with upscale accessories, and give them gobs of torque for maximum towing. So it gets GM's 6.6-liter Duramax diesel with 975 foot-pounds of torque. The 2500 version will tow 22,500 pounds, which is 4,000 pounds more than before. The 3500 version can tow up to 36,000 pounds. These trucks go on sale early next year, and that's when we'll learn what they cost. Well, here's the, an interesting use of electric vehicles. And it's a great sales gimmick, too. In the countryside, about an hour outside of London, Hyundai is opening a hotel that's completely powered by Ionic 5s. Everything from the luxury cabins to a bar and a restaurant and even a cinema will be powered by the electric cars. Members of the public can win a stay at the hotel, which will be open for two weeks from October 19th to November 5th. And that wraps up this week's worth of AutoLine Dailies. We are going to have a great weekend, and we hope you do too. And if you haven't done so already, we encourage you to subscribe to the AutoLine channel. AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Experience Dolby Atmos anywhere, anytime. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.